There's always a man. There's always a city. There's always a lighthouse. Now would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a... Let's go out to play, Daddy. <laughs> go back to the Sodom from which you came! Time to finish this. Catch. That'll do. Elizabeth! Brought to you by Bioshock The Collection. The world of Rapture re-entered our lives last week as part of the Bioshock Collection. And while I'm generally not a big fan of remasters, Rapture is one of my favorite places to visit in gaming. So I'm seriously considering a second, slightly higher definition trip under the sea. Since we're sponsored by the Bioshock Collection this week, I thought we'd take a look at some of the most memorable video game worlds. I'm not sure I've ever had as much trouble narrowing down one of these lists as I did with this video. Video game worlds are so often dense, beautiful, and unique. There are so many outstanding examples like the post-apocalyptic wastes of Fallout, the sprawling Milky Way galaxy in Mass Effect, the imposing and ominous City 17 in Half-Life 2, and the detailed high fantasy locations of The Witcher. Obviously, since I've mentioned them now, those ones aren't on my list. And neither are a bunch of other seriously worthy contenders, but here are five of my favorites. First up, let's talk Final Fantasy VII's Gaia and its main city, Midgar. Midgar is a bubbling city hub in the midst of an industrial revolution. The technologically advanced metropolis is perhaps showcased best in the opening cinematic that shows off the sheer size and scale of the city. While Final Fantasy has plenty of locations worth writing home about, like Lake Brescia and the Calm Lands, Midgar's stunning cityscape encompasses everything from downtrodden slums to the bustling wool market and the massive Shinra headquarters skyscraper. It's really something else. Next up, we have the continent of Tamriel in the Elder Scrolls world of Nim. Now, we could split hairs over Morrowind, Cyrodiil, and Skyrim if you want to, but they're all pretty bloody great. Elder Scrolls games offer up huge open worlds that you can traverse while watching the landscape changing under your feet. They're filled with all sorts of stories, people, creatures, and perhaps my favorite thing, the glorious cities. The towering peaks of Markarth, the elegance of Solitude, and the hidden nooks and crannies of crime-ridden Riften are all absolutely stamped into my mind. Venturing up to the throat of the world or down into the breathtakingly beautiful Blackreach is why Tamriel well and truly earns its place on this list. This probably won't come as a revelation to you, but Dark Souls is hard. Dark Souls is hard and I have a temper, so suffice it to say I haven't played a lot of it. That said, I have watched the entire thing played through because the world is just so enticing. Peppered with the most horrifying creatures your darkest nightmares can conjure up, the macabre Dark Souls takes place in Laudron. Laudron is unforgiving and grim, filled with nasty things that want to kill you and some gorgeous environmental and architectural design, which you'll be able to fully appreciate while you're returning to collect souls for the 19th time or figuring out where you're supposed to go next. For a land that's so unwelcoming and cruel, the dark beautiful game world makes it absolutely worth seeing what's beyond the next boss. No list about unforgettable game worlds would be complete without a mention of World of Warcraft's Azeroth. Azeroth is an absolute monster of a game world. It always needed to be big given it's home to the most popular MMO of all time, but it's also especially rich and diverse. Azeroth is the quintessential fantasy world filled with stories, memorable characters, and dozens of vastly different environments. From the beautiful purple spire-laden city of Dalaran to the sweeping plains of Nagrand. Azeroth has also fallen victim to the world-changing events of the Cataclysm expansion, which massively altered the landscape. To have a world compelling enough to call leagues of heroes back into the fray every time a new expansion lands is a tall order. But the ever-evolving and detail-rich world of Warcraft seems to have nailed it. Four down, one to go, and of course, it's Hyrule, the setting for one of the greatest hero narratives ever told in gaming. The Legend of Zelda series has seen Hyrule change a lot, and when we got our first taste of the iconic location in 3D upon the release of Ocarina of Time, most people were pretty understandably flawed. Okay, so it's pretty old now, but locations like the Goron City, Zora's Domain, and the Lost Woods are awe-inspiring. And the exploration of each is underpinned with one of the best soundtracks in all of gaming. Stepping out into Hyrule Field still instills that feeling of wonder, and both Wind Waker and Twilight Princess prove that even 
even the flooded and corrupted iterations of Hyrule are equally enchanting. Those are all my picks, but do let me know which ones I missed out on down in that comment section, and happy adventuring!